Hey guys, and welcome back. Today is going to be my April makeup stash video. Makeup I'm wearing this month. I wanna just walk you through the products that I've chosen to reach for during the month of April. I like to do this because it helps me kind of shop my stash, use products that I maybe haven't used in a while, kind of refresh my monthly drawer so I am using different things and playing around with different makeup options and things like that. So yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and let's just go ahead and get started. I have some coffee today. It is like the cinnamon one from Starbucks. My dad gave me some Keurig pods that are like cinnamon something from Starbucks and they're really really good So I'm like on my third cup today. <laughs> Let's just jump into these products Primers, I thought I would just update you on one primer that I'm reaching for this month It is in addition to my poreless putty primer that I use from elf. This is Milani soft focus glow I'm kind of over these types of primers now because I found a sunscreen that I really like I've kind of updated my skincare routine in the morning a bit so with my new skincare routine I feel like my skin is really prepped for makeup already and I don't really need a primer or like a glowy primer like this I feel like the combination of my SPF moisturizer toner all that stuff kind of already gives me glowy skin so I am kind of over these types of primers, but I do want to get as much use out of them as I can. So I know that this one is on my list of products that I want to finish up this year. I'm gonna hopefully reach for it this month and use as much out of it as I can before I really just declutter like all of my glowy primers. For foundation products, I have quite a few actually because some of them I just cannot let go of because they're so good and I don't wanna remove them from my monthly stash. So the L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum in the shade 23 Light. I love this product, it is so, so amazing. I just don't like the applicator because it's like messy drop applicator, but the actual product on the inside is so, Good. Whenever I go out, which I'm starting to do more of now, and whenever I do, I reach for this because it's so good and it just makes my skin look so beautiful. And then of course my L'Oreal Age Perfect Tinted Balm in the shade 20 Pale. This one is amazing as well and I wanna keep it in my makeup stash because when I go to my parents for the weekend, I will throw this one into my bag and that's the one I travel with and I'm also going to be going on a couple trips. Well, not really trips, but I'm going to our family cottage for Easter weekend, and I'm also going to the island, like Vancouver Island, um, at the end of April as well. So I know that I'm gonna be bringing this guy with me. And then a new product, one that I'm wearing on my face right now, I kind of forgot I had this. It's the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator Tinted Skin Veil in the shade Light Medium, and I'm wearing it on my face today, and I actually like this product. I tried out a lot of tinted moisturizers, tinted serum type products in foundation February 2021, and this was one of them. I got rid of the L'Oreal Paradise Skin one, or Skin Paradise, because it was the wrong color match for me. And I think I got rid of another, oh, the Milani Glow. I got rid of that one as well, but I hung on to this one and I can't remember why. So I decided that I would reach for it again, and I'm really liking the glow it's giving my skin right now. I feel like I look very hydrated and dewy, and I'm really liking it. So. Thought I would play around with this one again this month. Then I also have new that I just picked up and I just filmed a video on it so you guys will either be seeing it soon or you've seen it already. But it is the Maybelline Green Edition Tinted Oil. It's their Super Drop Tinted Oil in the shade 040. I'm not gonna do any spoilers because I don't know which video is coming out first. Also my eye is like killing me. Another kind of dropper foundation. I'm not a fan of the droppers, they're just so messy but the products tend to be really good when they come in these like dropper things. But yeah, this is on my list this month and you guys will see it in action um, very soon. Bronzers are all the same, so no updates there. A couple updates on the blushes. Well, I think this one is like every month. It's the Cheek Heat from Maybelline in Nude Burn. Also their Cheek Heat in Rose Blush. This might be new this month. I don't know, I'm trying to like use both of these up and kind of clear out my collection. So I'm more 
finished or I'm almost finished on the nude burn and then I wanted a powder blush and it's the one I'm wearing on my cheeks today it is from mini so it's the color me blush which is in the shade I don't know it actually doesn't have a shade name so it's just this like pink one. Oh, number six maybe I think it's shade six but they sent this to me I think last year and I haven't really reached for it that much but I love it it makes my face look so healthy glowy it's matte but illuminating at the same time like I don't have a highlighter on and I feel like the blush looks really really good so I have been loving this little guy and I I'm excited to reach for it again. I love these like soft pinks. I think they work the best with my skin tone. I have been really trying to find products that work for my skin tone and my skin tone is pretty hard because it is olive and neutral. It has a little bit of yellow in it. It's a little bit warm and it's just so hard to get shades that work for me. But I have discovered that cool tone blushes work really well and I like them more than warm tone blushes and I love this little pink like soft pinks rosy blushes are so work so well with my skin tone. Eyeshadow palette of the month is actually I think I chose this one last April but I just couldn't not I could not not choose this one because it's just such an April palette. It's Flutter by from ColourPop, which is like the most beautiful butterfly packaging. I love butterflies so much. And this is what it looks like on the inside. It's a very neutral mauve palette. I really like it for April. I just feel like it's such an April palette. I'm wearing this one on my eyes today. I'm wearing like mostly this shade right here, which is Sun Flare. That's kind of like all over my lids right now. Another little palette that I thought I would pick up this month is Estates Peach Punch. I think Estate is a Canadian brand based in Montreal and Peach Punch I thought was just such a nice palette and I really wanted to reach for it more. I've only used it a couple times. And then another little eyeshadow that I love so much. It's Ritz from ColourPop. This is the most stunning eyeshadow topper ever. It gives you such a beautiful reflective sheer like almost clear layer of glitter on your eyes it's just so nice I wear it a ton like i'm always wearing it on my channel so it's just it's just so good such a beautiful like glossy glitter for the springtime so ritz is back on the menu and i think then it's just lip products so a lot of these are going to be the same as the lipsticks that i showed in my spring lipstick video it's pretty much all the same i think there's maybe a few others that i added on we have i i don't know why this is back on the list again i'm smart from maybelline which is a beautiful nude shade i still love secret from their matte fetish line but i also love i'm smart and it's from their bold color statement collection bold matte color statement collection and it's just so good I love I'm smart and then I have layover from ColourPop which I believe is one of their creams it's kind of similar like really similar to I'm smart it's just maybe a little bit more brown and I have Zuma from ColourPop there's so much ColourPop this month I don't know why it's just like April ColourPop I don't know Zuma is one of their ultra blotted lip sticks I love this formula so much I keep meaning to do an order on ColourPop and try out some of their new lipsticks and pick up more of the formulas that I love. I just haven't braced myself to do that yet because it's like kind of expensive when you convert to Canadian, but um, I really love the ultra blotted lip colors and Zuma is such a beautiful nude shade. Again, kind of similar to the other two. I also have their ultra blotted lip in the shade Sleepy Eyes which I also really, really love. It's a little bit deeper and more rosy toned, and maybe even more like terracotta rosy toned, but I love sleepy eyes as well. I think it's perfect for those days when you don't want to make a statement, you just wanna look good. So you just pop on some mascara and throw on this lipstick and you look done up and ready to go. So I love sleepy eyes. Then I still am using this, which I know I've talked about it probably in every monthly video, for a while now. It's Cherry Slush from e.l.f. It's one of their sheer slicks. I love Cherry Slush and this is such a good one for me when I have a virtual meeting or something and I just want to look a little bit more presentable. Most of the time I'm wearing like nothing on my face but when I do want to look a little more presentable I will pop on this color because it looks good on camera. It's not uncomfortable like it's very comfortable 
and it kind of it's you know so easy to apply and I can just pop it on quickly I also have wet and wilds cloud pout marshmallow lip mousse in the shade fluff you another one that I pretty much all of these like I said were featured in my spring lipstick video but I love this shade I think it's such a fun strawberry watermelon type shade it's just bright and fun Revlon color say satin ink liquid lipstick in fire and ice again kind of along the same vein it is just a brighter version pretty much of that elf not elf a brighter version of the wet and wild fluffy shade it's just brighter deeper more bold and it's an amazing formula I cannot rave about this liquid lipstick formula enough oh and then on my lips what I'm wearing is the So Juicy Plumping Gloss from ColourPop in the shade Dress Code. It's kind of hard to swatch this one because it's like a gloss, but I'll just give it a little swipe. It's such a nice gloss. It has this like cooling minty sensation on your lips, but it looks so glossy and it's not sticky. It doesn't make those like, you know, connecting lines between your lips. It's just really, really good. Actually, underneath dress code and what I've been reaching for more and more often is Spice from Milani. It's one of their color statement lip liners. And I don't know, I just started wanting to reach for a lip liner more. So I threw Spice in the bag and I actually think it pairs really nicely with all the nudes as well as that gloss. But anyway, those are all of the shades that I am choosing to wear this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you liked the makeup products that I chose. Oh my gosh, I forgot to talk about concealers. Totally forgot, concealers. And I had two new concealers that I've been reaching for. The first one, which I don't really like, the more I use this, the less I like it. It's Revolution Pro's Ultimate Coverage Crease Proof Concealer. I have the shade C 5.7. It's just so thick and gloopy and it looks really dry on my under eyes. So I'm not a fan of this. If you found a way to make this work for you, let me know, it's just on me, it does not work. But the other concealer that I forgot about and I love is Catrice's One Drop Coverage Weightless Concealer. I have the shade 010 Light Beige. It is a little dropper, I'm not a fan of this application, but it looks so, so nice on the skin. I'm wearing it on my face today and it just looks amazing. I forgot how much I loved it, loved this product. I don't think I love it more than my L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Concealer, which I haven't repurchased yet because I have to work through duds like this. I don't think I love this one more than that. It's, just, it's good, but in a different way. And I actually think it might be discontinued, which sucks. So that sums up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my choices for April. Let me know what you're gonna be reaching for throughout the month. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos and I will see you in my next one.